Hi and welcome students. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to review maintenance, security, and update settings for Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have a Windows 10 desktop right here, and the first thing that I want to do is open up my control panel to view these settings. To do that, I'm going to press the Windows key, and then I'm going to type in control. You'll see that control panel will pop up right here, and you can either press enter if it's in blue, or you can click on it to open it up. This will open up your control panel, which looks like this, and this shows all of your control panel items. So within here we're going to go to the system and security heading and we're going to choose review your computer status. So you'll see all of the different items that are listed here and it's kind of hard to tell when they're in these small icons where everything is at. So I usually go right over here and change this to large icons and this kind of helps make it take up more of the screen so that you can view what's going on on your computer. So within this screen here we have security and maintenance. It's listed right here and if I click on security and maintenance it'll take me into the security and maintenance settings on my computer. Within these settings here we can look at all of our security options and if I click this drop down I can see my firewall status, my virus protection, my internet security settings, and also my user account control. Now keep in mind that anything that has this shield on it requires administrative access on your computer, so you won't be able to do certain things if you don't have administrative access. So let's take a look at some of these things here, and uh, we could start with network firewall, and you could check the status, and then you can see your virus protection uh, it, status over here. Along this column, discusses all of your status and so the virus protection will depend on your own computer. By default Windows uses a program called Windows Defender and so with Windows Defender you can also check your status by hitting the Windows key and typing in Defender and it'll say Windows Defender settings and if you click on that it's going to open up Windows Defender. So this will tell you all about your virus protection, your account protection, uh, additional firewall and network protection, as well as a lot of other things like your device security and family options. So a couple things that I like to do in here is adjust the virus and threat protection. Now keep in mind, you're only going to be able to get into the, these things if you have um, administrative access. On the computer that I'm using, it's a school computer, so I actually do not have access to that, so it'll say page not available. So you will need administrative access. Within this background area, which you can kind of tell, there's virus and threat protection and account protection. You can use these two tabs here to run scans on your computer. Every Windows 10 device comes with Windows Defender, so you already have antivirus built into your operating system. I do recommend this antivirus system uh, as it uh, is native in Windows and uh, generally it works pretty well. And so in this security and uh, settings area we can always uh, right here, this is opened up separate, so I'm going to go back to this one here, we could always view our maintenance. And if you click the drop down on maintenance, you can see you can report problems, look at your automatic maintenance on your computer, home group, file history, and drive status to make sure all of your network drives are working properly. So this shows all of your security and maintenance options. The last thing that I'm going to show you here is how to uh, view your um, update status. And so that's in your settings. So this is the control panel here. And again, this is another view for the control panel. And I just got here by clicking the back button. And so this is all of your uh, default settings. Okay, now this is the control panel. I'm going to open up the settings menu. So I'll close out of the control panel. I'll hit the Windows key and type in settings. And if I click right here, it's going to open up my settings. Okay, now the settings is slightly different from the control panel and it has different options here. It deals a lot with system settings, which is like your displays that you're using all the way through update and security. Update and security is really useful because this will show you how to update your Windows 10 operating system and when you click on this it'll show you if you're up to date. Now I do recommend keeping your system up to date if possible because again if you're running the latest software um, it's going to help you with just about everything in terms of uh, your antivirus and Windows Defender and being able to um, you know make sure that your computer is safe and up to date. You could always check for updates right here and it will check for the updates and if you have any it'll, up, it'll uh, show and install status and you can choose to install them. Keep in mind if you use a third-party 
um, antivirus that sometimes the third-party antivirus can uh, conflict with updating your uh, Windows 10 operating system so if you're using a third-party antivirus I sometimes if you can't update your computer I recommend uh, disabling that and using Windows Defender instead so that it work because it works better with updating your computer and so you'll see right here I checked for updates it says I'm up to date so now we've reviewed security maintenance and uh, checked the update settings on our computer and so that's how you would update your Windows 10 device as well as check your uh, uh, antivirus and Windows Defender and things like that. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to keep your computer safe as well as uh, updating your Windows 10 operating system. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If you have any questions put it in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.